Hello. Today is July 31st, uh, 2023, and uh, I wanted to give uh, a bit of a channel update. I I'd like to do these little talks uh, frequently, just so everyone kind of knows uh, what's going on, what's happening. Um, so I have a lot of videos uh, released to come out starting uh, September, like a lot of videos, probably a video for every weekday until maybe the first couple days of the week for October. So it's all about uh, drawing insects and whatnot. And I do plan to do uh, more drawing plants videos. Uh, I, I will, I am really interested in uh, doing that. I kind of like, you know, rediscovered a lot of uh, love for doing that. But you know, the other thing is um, I, I have to do a healthy balance of my own uh, personal work, which I really have been lacking on. Like I've been meaning to do more drawing of, uh, drawing from life, but I've just been a bit occupied with uh, work. I have some deadlines and it's kind of a bit uh, difficult some days. Some days I get back pretty late and it's a bit hard for me to uh, really put in everything. Um, on the days that I have to wake up extremely early, I kind of stopped making videos on those days. Uh, I mean, I still draw on those days, but it's just like making videos for YouTube. I need to discontinue because I realize like the quality, it's really bad. And I, I tend to make more mistakes when I'm tired. And <laughs> there, there's not a lot I can do about that. I have been thinking about maybe I take a, a power nap. <laughs> caffeine doesn't really, uh, like caffeine does it for about a half hour. So maybe I could try that again, but on the other hand, I, I try not to drink coffee past five or else I won't be able to sleep and I'll just be in a state of uh, exhaustion and not being able to sleep. So yeah, lots of videos on drawing uh, bugs and arachnids or insects and arachnids. Uh, I, you know, as normal, I will always have a video coming out on Sunday. I, I like that schedule. Uh, all the time. Um, I do plan to do more bug videos as well. It's just been a bit uh, challenging right now, but I definitely plan to. I'm also uh, watching an apartment for a friend soon. So um, he's going out of town. I don't know uh, why, but he's going out of town and I'm gonna help out with that. So I'll be away from my uh, computer. I can't, sadly, I can't take my whole, uh, desktop battle station with me just because it's so well it, it's just not going to happen it's too large it's not portable i could still draw but i just won't be able to make uh videos for about a week or so but uh luckily i have a large release schedule coming out um if there are topics that you are interested in whenever i do make it i would probably release those on a sunday uh, unless I get like a lot of questions, then I may do that. I mean, it's nothing personal against anyone. It's just, I feel like having that on a Sunday or who knows, maybe I would release it earlier, but I, I really do have to, uh, balance like drawing in my personal life with, uh, drawing for YouTube, which I like doing both. I'm not, please don't get me wrong. I definitely, definitely like uh, doing both, but I just need to find uh, a healthy balance. Um, I also had to fix some bugs in my, uh, on my website and on my uh, application, uh, my, you know, my desktop applications. So, you know, I kind of found another bug. Um, <coughs> I think I released it already. That may have been a little while ago, not too long ago, but it was kind of like a really tricky one that just ate a couple days of my time. Uh, weekends were lost. Uh, not only fixing it, but also just to compile it all and put it online. I think that was maybe last month when I did that. Um, let me think. Other than that, yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot planned. Um, if I do get recommendations for bug videos along that time or questions, I would probably make a follow-up video and try to release it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, when I was uploading all the videos, like, you know, sometimes with certain videos when I do make them in bulk, uh, it took me like a good solid Sunday to like upload all of the videos and wait for it to finish uploading and then typing all of the credits and uh, credits and other information. So I, I was surprised it took a day. 
Uh, I did draw in the meantime when I was uploading them, <coughs> but sort of the downside with that is it's like sometimes they load faster. It's like I'm constantly looking at my computer. So it is kind of just like time that I have to make time for, but it's kind of like just so I could upload it to YouTube, which is actually really funny because usually it doesn't take too long for me to upload videos to YouTube. It usually takes maybe like a, maybe three, five minutes for it to go through all the checks and all of that when I uh, do upload it. And, uh, but yeah, the hour ones take a little bit longer. Um, I have been, you know, the other thing is the process for collecting uh, bugs that I do want to draw. That does take a significant amount of time as well. I also have written, I wrote one article uh, recently. I made that into a video. Um, I don't think it released yet, but the whole point of, the, of it was like trying to show how you should really uh, store your information that you know on art. Um, there is, it's good to have everything off the top of your head, but some things it doesn't really make uh, sense for you to know or to remember off the top of your head. <coughs> like if I was gonna give one good example for that, it would be uh, all of the materials that you use. I think it is a good idea, whether it be software applications or like physical pencils, like a set or something like that. Uh, I do recommend like you have a place you could like make it a Google Doc. I, I the article is on my website for those of you who are uh, interested. It's you could like uh, open it in Google Docs and you can like make your own uh, copy of it, which is like the purpose of it. And you you know I try to give a little bit of a template. Uh, the whole idea is you could also have a guide to print out and have online, so you have it backed up in uh, multiple places. I think it's always good to have. Uh, multiple backups. Uh, personally, for a lot of my videos, I, I do back up my videos to a uh, external SSD. And uh, luckily it has a lot of data, so I'm not running low on that and by any means. But it, there is, uh, you know, it's always good to do that. You know, the other thing is, you know, it's safe. It's safe on YouTube and also safe on my hard drive. So I like both. <clears throat> I like it that way. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you do it that way as well with for your materials. Like if you use uh, certain drawing materials, you know, maybe you lose a pencil and you're like, what pencil did I lose? And, you know, you're like, you can't remember which one. Uh, more often than not, you can probably, well, unless you bought it in person, you can probably go online and find out where you got it from if you know where to look. Um, but if not, or, you know, like order history, if you can find that. But sometimes things get lost in the weed of uh, things with that. Um, uh, I think I got some phishing emails recently. I think it was just a mass one. And I was still, like, really confused by it. But, uh, you know, that, that tends to uh, hit people, which was annoying. But I did report it because it was uh, clearly a phishing attempt. Um, so other than that, yeah, lots of videos planned. Uh, you have a lot to look forward to. If you ever do have a question, you could always uh, ask it, and I would probably make a video on it if I if the answer isn't enough. And I feel like sometimes, I, I guess it always uh, depends. The other thing is, uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, drawing insects from real life. They're very difficult. I did get around to doing that. They move a lot. Uh, I think photos can be a good solution sometimes, but I feel like if you're really trying to get study them up close, it could be extremely difficult. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's why you know, people would uh, pin them, which I'm not going to be doing. I'd rather take a picture, but people would uh, do that to do more observational studies. That involves killing them, which I don't. I don't do that. I don't like to. Uh, I don't like to. One, I don't like to kill bugs. Two. I, uh, even plants I won't kill. Uh, I had been thinking about maybe going to like a florist and picking up plants or maybe even getting a house plant to study from instead, you know, something that I could either keep alive or not have to uh, kill myself when it comes to it. Um, you know, I just don't like wasting in that way. Uh, but yeah, lots planned. Um, I'm not sure, I did think about or I was thinking about making some other videos uh, 
using my phone, but I always do worry about the quality with that, considering that like it's not like a full, uh, it's not like a full type of style. Like I don't really have the uh, proper tools for filming in real life, which is a bit frustrating. I had been thinking about getting a GoPro. I don't know which one I would get, but you know, considering. Uh, considering something like that, it may be worthwhile for me to do if enough people want me to do it. I think there's a lot for me to teach if I uh, would do that. Um, I, I am trying to save money considering just the times and all that. And I always do wonder maybe it's not appropriate for me to do that. Uh, maybe I need to, maybe I would do it in the future, but for now I may not do that. Or if enough people are interested, I would. But I think it could be another tool that can really help me show uh, a lot of the still life drawing things. Um, the other thing, so I got a chunk of wood recently uh, for cutting paper, because I, be I believe it's cheaper to cut your own paper while well, considering the fine paper that I wanted to draw on. But I've, I've been thinking about making a tutorial for that, but that would involve like probably a GoPro type thing. I mean, I probably could, I, I don't think I could shoot it on my iPhone because it's like, it's one of those things that I feel like I'm not gonna get the good angle shot unless like it's directly uh, in front of my head. So, you know, it, it's one thing being able to film the video, it's being able, and two, it's being able to make it to the quality that I want to. Um, also, as you can tell, a lot of my videos are not always uh, edited. I, I think going that way is uh, good. You know, I really don't have the, uh, I don't have the expenses to pay an editor. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do very minor editing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's just kind of like an extra thing. Uh, I hope that doesn't affect my quality so much, but there are some people out there who uh, are able to do that. But like I said, I don't think my quality is all that bad when it comes to uh, my videos, unless I'll get someone in the comments saying otherwise, but I, I think the format I'm able to uh, do it at is pretty clean, and uh, like I think it fits the purpose for what I do, considering tutorials and demonstrations and other talks and advice, but yeah, I think that's uh, really interesting. But yeah, I really do have to talk about the paper. It, it, was, uh, it was a very funny process and a learning process that I had to go through. <laughs> Who would think that cutting paper could be uh, so complicated? I mean, I, <laughs> probably no one, but I guess when you're trying to cut it straight and you're trying to really take advantage of the paper without wasting it, it kind of makes it more uh, complicated and I also don't want to uh, damage the floor in any way. So that also adds to the complexity of cutting paper. Sounds like a joke, but uh, yeah, it's actually, it's actually not. But yeah, lots to come. Um, yeah, I, I have been wondering, after I do release all of those videos, they'll be coming out one day at a time, but I've been wondering uh, when I do do that. Uh, I'm not sure if, like, after October hits, if I'll have another set to just continue off from that day. Uh, I kind of have been, you know, I, I just don't know. Because, you know, it would be cool if I could have a video uh, every day, but I always wondered if, Am I showing people the right stuff? Is there more information that I should be aware of? Um, should I wait for those videos to release to get feedback on them from everyone? Uh, a lot of people don't comment on my videos, which I understand because more often than not, they're probably just uh, looking for information and either it satisfies it or it does not. If it does not, I do like to get feedback, but I don't always get feedback. Sometimes I do, and it kind of segues into another video, as I've said time and time again. But yeah, I am a bit stuck with uh, what I should continue doing. But I, I do try to like, I want to pull uh, different insects. I don't want to be drawing the same insect again too much. That may be a bit of a criticism of mine that I would say. Because uh, I think working with different perspectives and angles is probably a really good exercise that I will uh, keep in mind. But like, you know, I don't want to be drawing the same thing again and again and again. Even though it is very uh, beneficial to do that if you are trying to uh, use it in a professional sense. But yeah, um, that 
that is the main thing. So, you know, August, I'm probably going to be a bit, bit busy. I think I have to go to a wedding in October for a friend, and uh, that's going to be another couple days of uh, my production schedule getting shot. I mean, I could always still draw, but, you know, it, it's like, you know, being out of my, uh, what I like to call my home studio. I mean, it's not really just my room, but sometimes uh, being out of that kind of throws me off and I kind of need to uh, get back to it. Like, sometimes if I'm away for the day, if I'm away for a day and I need to sit back down, uh, sometimes I'm not always in the right mindset to do it. Or it's like, if I haven't done anything the entire day and then it's 8 p.m., I kind of feel like, well, that's, uh, I'm like, how am I going to do this? Because, you know, I feel like personally I require a long uh, warm up time until I can actually start uh, making good stuff at all. But, you know, I guess it's one of those things that I'm just going to have to fight through in the future. Um, until I do get my own place, sometimes where I live, it gets a bit loud and it's impossible for me to make videos, sadly. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just the way things work sometimes, and maybe it's for the best. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things that, like, I really can't avoid. I mean, even if I would get, uh, patterns to, like, tape on the wall or however you do that to, uh, prevent noise from seeping through. Um, but yeah, those are the main points that I wanted to talk about. If you have any feedback, questions, or anything like that, you could either, uh, comment below or you could email me. And if you, uh, or if you have a question about anything... Um, but other than that, I hope you like this uh, little update. I do try to do these often because I feel like in the YouTube world, keeping everyone up to date with what I'm doing so it doesn't seem like I disappeared is important. And I also think it's important to know that uh, I'm always doing something, but like just because a video is coming out every day does not mean that I am making a video every single day. Uh, because sometimes I can make, sometimes if I am in the mood, I can make more than one video a day. Uh, but it all depends uh, on that. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. I feel if you do like my channel, I'm pretty sure you're already subscribed. But if you're not, uh, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, if not, no worries. If you like the video, please like it. And uh, yeah, thank you for sticking around with this update. Bye.